over here, yeah. Over here we killed a bunch. Are you going here? Ooh, yes, yeah, someone's going to Sauron. And dead. Alright, Macadon, surely you want peace now. Fucking hell, how are you how are you being decolonized? Oh, come on, dude, we just trashed you. We stack wiped a bloody army. And you don't want peace? That's the entire time you should want peace. That is like the specific time that peace sounds like a really fucking good option. Who in the shit is this? Beleria? Have you just split away from Carthage? No. Okay. 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 You know what? Okay. Nola is the new Rome. Carthage is about to get the achievement for owning all of Iberia. Um, yeah, shit's happening. I, I want to beat Egypt. I want to get this war complete before the end of the game. Uh, Macadon not being involved in the war would make it easier. I'd bring an extra 80k south. This fort needs to fucking fall already. Hello. You're gonna get there on the 20th of December. Wait until you're locked. Now you're locked. We're gonna get there on the 23rd, or we could get there on the 21st. I'm gonna do the 21st. Right, you are using Phalanx. Fuck Phalanx. We're going to shock action the shit out of you, my friend. Wait, no, fuck, I did it wrong. <laughs> Damn it. We should still win unless you bring in a trash load of bloody reinforcements. Where's all your forts? Didn't you have a fort and tire? I guess not. Siege of Amosos is one. Alright, that should be Macadon out then. Right? Oh, fuck off, Macadon. We're victorious somewhere else. Beautiful. Right, as soon as Macadon's dead. Surely. Oh, hello. You're attacking me again. To victory! We're now a conqueror as well. 20,000 just got splatified. Yeah, this army used to be in better shape. You're gonna get there on the 3rd of February. Wait till he's locked. We'll get there on the 4th of February. Falls on the 3rd. Right, now we'll double check his tactic. He's using skirmishing. We should use something that beats skirmishing. Like deception. So now his army should melt and ours should be fine. That's basically how it goes. We don't get a massive boost from Deception, but he gets a massive penalty. That's worth it. And then we stack wiped him. Right, Macadon, do you kindly want to fuck off? Oh, another battle. How about that? How about that? Right, you fuckers come south. This guy is supposed to be 29 cores. He's been reorganizing for so bloody long. Oh, that's a 77k stack. You might need a little bit more help than that. Uh, killed 17,000 troops. Come on, Macadon. How many times do we need to show you that you suck? Huh? You've lost... Lost so many men. Just fuck off. How about offering peace? No, that used to be a thing that you could do. I'm not ceding you territory, of course. Not a fucking chance. But I am getting very, very worried about how quickly we're coming on the end date. Uh, the first army. Damn, the first army? Still exists. Good fucking job. Alright, first army can retreat. Uh, how stranded? Uh, we'll just, just throw them some cash. Fuck it. Uh, killed 7,000 men. Fantastic. 
that was here. Uh, captured an enemy, won a siege, beautiful. Hey, Macdon, now do you want to fuck off? You don't. <laughs> You're on retreat. Oh, that's what you should need to do. Make sure you uh, get your offers of peace in while we've just won a battle and they're retreating. That's interesting. It's probably why stack wipes are not as important as they otherwise could be. Ooh, that was a mistake. This was a mistake. I mean, we're killing shit tons more than we're losing. But still, we're about to lose this battle, I think. It's not worth it. Yeah, we killed 17,000, but we lost far more than that. I mean, no, we didn't. We didn't actually lose far more than that at all. That's a complete lie. It's a bare, bald-faced lie with, with lie droppings. Um, what I mean to say is we could have lost far fewer if we'd went in with better numbers. Alright, so you are currently on deception, but you're about to get someone better in. You're going to arrive on the 30th of May tomorrow. We're going to arrive on the 2nd of June. Alright, so you are now on envelopment. We need to beat envelopment by going with deception. Alright, now you fucking die. Wait, didn't switch. Apparently we had a level 10 in there already. Didn't realize. Oh well. Still a massive battle. Killed 33,000 men. Fucking beautiful. Something like that could be in order. You go there. How about now, Macadon? Do you want peace now, you bitch? Sue for peace. You're not on retreat. Alright. Does anyone want peace? Thrace is involved? Didn't even know that. Axum, a loot. No one wants peace. The Egyptians don't want peace. We're not too terribly far away from it. I guess one can imagine that if the war was to continue on, we would, of course, be regaining our lost territory. Crisis in Mecca? Get fucked. Oh yeah, if you can catch him, catch him. Really? How fucking fast do you move, you shits? Oh, you're all cavalry, that's why. Fucking, really? Stop. Stop moving. Stop moving so fucking fast. Thank you. Assholes. Oh, really, Lichion? Really? Fucking really? Not bad. Just kill that. Kill that man. A uh, new orator, you. Did we get anything new yet? I don't think we did. Frame up, I don't care about. Yeah, now we're good. We are good. Might actually be an idea to get this army to bugger off down south. Level 13 would be the, one of the better generals. And then this army can... Was that a win? Yes, it was good. Alright, get to the next siege, because fucking fighting Egypt is a slog. There's so many things to siege. Alright, you. Get on the ships and go drop them here. It's probably the fastest way to cost. Probably not. Fuck it, doesn't matter. Um, I need you to be of my family. There we go. Fix the disloyal family bullshit. Now you go to Kos. There we go. 
I don't see any enemies apart from this guy who's about to die, so I'm not too worried. You start marching, you go to Gaza. Does look like he's lost the majority of his forts. Or rather, the AI is just too stupid to build the majority of the fortifications necessary to beat such an army as mine. And I don't know how many men I'm actually invading with, but it's a fair chunk of dudes. Can't be denied. Can't be denied that this army's fucking dead as well. Coming of the city of Dilbat. Did I build Dilbat? I don't remember Dilbat. Nope, that was not mine. But hey, I'll take him. Welcome, Dilbat. To city status. I don't want a fucking piece yet. Three. Still haven't invaded me again. Alright. I mean, this is... I, I thought this episode would be shorter than it is, honestly. Uh, but hey, bumper long final episode. It's been, what, like 38 minutes so far? It might even be an hour long. Lucky you. We're going to starve if we sit there, so let's go to Billion again. And we're going to starve if we go here as well. No, we're not. Uh, here, we should be fine. We just need to take this, it's the provincial capital. No, this one, sorry. Provincial capital, and then this won't starve either. But if it starts to starve... Okay, yeah, I don't mind. It's, it's probably okay. Oh, hello, Egypt. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, should we go on skirmishing? Let's go on shock action. Nope, we probably should have stuck with skirmishing. But 130% discipline, we should win anyway. The dude just marched through the desert trying to fight me. Oh, you bring in an extra, sorry. Well, fuck you. Also, deception. Which didn't help all that much, but whatever. We want a siege, yay. Oh, hello, 60,000. You're gonna arrive on the 20th, I'm gonna arrive on the 5th of June, that's fine. 2nd of June, 19th of May. All right, that's fine. Hey, another siege. Come on, there we go. So they are using uh, envelopment. You need to use something that beats envelopment, which is, yes, deception. Nope, 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 no, I went wrong again. You fucking pillock. Still killed a lot of dudes. So at least I've got that going for me, but I am so shit at that. Death of Generals is super good, but you need to make sure that you choose the right tactics. And, uh, I've been really shit at that. Oh, hello, they're bringing in more troops. Um, actually don't have anything to fight that. I guess you're going back north again. Another army there. Fuck it, you're probably fine to kill. Yes, you were. That's going to be an interesting siege. Really good place for fort. You go kill that fort, actually. Right, Egypt. Come on, piece me the shit out. Just that. Just that. Come on, you bitch. But now we are bottlenecked by this fort. If you're ever playing Egypt, this is a great place to defend. Pelusian pillaged. 
Fuck it, go for it. I don't know where that is. Oh, hello. Oh, troops. Pelusian. Don't know. Fuck it. Don't care. I'm sure it's fine. You might even get caught by this little dude. You just keep marching down. At some point, we'll, uh, we'll get through the forts. Yep, dead. Lovely. Anything new? Nope. I mean, we've got a lot of troops. They're all going to starve if I don't get through the fort and get down here. And if I don't, that's as far as I can go. That is pretty much the end of this war. Hello, found you. Right. Force march over here. Yeah, unless I can get over there and siege that end of the war, really. It's a bloody, very, very well-placed fort. And these guys running out of food. We still have food, though. Region is still making a ton of food. Thankfully, thankfully it looks like we're not going to have to worry too much, we're going to get through it before we die of starvation. Oh nice, you're actually going for a fort instead of uh, trying to, you know, siege the deeper parts of my country. Uh, they're coming, they're probably going to try and attack. Please do. Yes, please do. 164,000 here. We've all got plenty of food. And yeah, we will have a negative for crossing penalty, but... Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> here it comes. Oh, if I can get this on a 35%. Nope, it's too late. Good first attack there, first wave. Uh, I'm not going to be able to change the tactic, which is unfortunate because we're currently negative on the tactic. I don't have a level 13. Oh, sorry, a 15. You could get in, but you wouldn't change anything. We'll just go in with 165k and, and brute force it, really. You're going to run out of men before I do, even if you kill more. Uh, I killed almost all of these troops. Fantastic. He's only going to retreat to there, I assume. I assume incorrectly. Where are you going? Oh, you're going there? Now I can kill you then. Beautiful, and we also caught a dude. No more Macedonian incursions yet? No. Right, back to this battle. Yep. And a victory. We killed 40,000. Interesting that we still killed more than we lost. Uh, we'll drop you and the rest can fuck off. They'll probably try again. 181 ships. There's no fucking chance that I can even touch that. That's that done. Step one of you, go down there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Alright. The gates to Egypt have been breached. Now we pour through. God damn it, why do you keep coming through this fucking desert? Stop. No more Macedonians I need to worry about. It's just Egypt. But we're getting close to the capital now. You might need to bugger off into my own territory for a while. Or just stop. Just stop for a while. So, Alexandria is still defended. Actually, I could go down here and get up to it right now. Which is precisely what I'm going to do. 
Wait, Memphis is not defended? Stupid fuckers. Replace the stockpile, I got plenty of cash. Right. Especially getting the straight crossings controlled is super important. So that their navies can't block me off, but there's so many crossings, there's really no way they can prevent it. I feel like I'm going to need to leave an army here as well. No more Macedonians. Oh, hello. Trying to land with 5,000. Good luck with that. Wait, what? How, what? What is the four? Level four, level six. What? That's interesting. That's very interesting. You don't see that very often. So yeah, Alexandria is being sieged. Uh, oh, they're attacking me with 100,000 men. Interesting. Uh, and currently they are using envelopment, so everyone should be on shock action. We can hold them off for a while, especially with that lovely 25% uh, difference. But if we get an extra 70,000 there, that would, actually, I'm just going to win regardless. I'm just going to... Mm, yeah, only one is necessary. You can go there. Yeah, no, that was a fantastic victory. The 11th didn't actually help. What an absolutely stunning victory by the 13th. Nope, oh, let it go. We can let it pillage. I uh, don't really care about that. Apparently, we just, did we lose a battle or did we just fight one? Ooh, hello. You're good. I like you. Still no need to worry about anything. 262 ships. Yeah, this is why I need to control the straits. If you undock now, you block me from crossing. You were too slow, though. Uh, I, I believe that's called Haha, get fucked. <laughs> lots and lots of sieges. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't siege that yet. But this, look at all them slaves. Freaking beautiful. Surely Egypt was going to want to give up soon. Starving here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's painful, but I'm going to have to let you starve, mate. Alright, as soon as probably Alexandria falls, we can peace out, I assume, and I hope, because we don't have an awful lot of time left. We do not have an awful lot of time left at all. Get down to Memphis and Babylon, Egypt, DI. Big cities worth a lot of slaves. We've got call for peace now as well. Come on, fall Alexander. You know what? Everyone fucking pile in. We're going to assault Alexandria because that'd just be funny. One of the last actions of the campaign is the assault on Alexandria. We've got a breach. There's 800 then men there. We should be totally fine. We got 123k. Let's see how fucking awful this is. Oh my god, that's filth. I did not expect it to be that bad. 123k, so we lost uh, 30... 34,000? Fuck me. 34,000 men. But Egypt, surely. Surely. I will call you Shirley. Really? We're not there yet. We've got less than a year before we can force... Well, not force, but... Um, until we have to peace out. Because we run out of time. Just 
get to all the big cities. Macadon, do you want peace? You don't want peace. Why don't you want peace? Why don't you want peace? We should have peace. You know what? I'm not gonna get this. I'm not gonna get this in time. So, fuck it, there you go. Have that. Now, Egypt. Finally. We have peace, yes? You still don't want peace! We're nine reasons away. Nine motherfucking reasons. Hey, you. Fuck your reputation. And you. Fuck your reputation. And, and you. Fuck your reputation. And how about you? Fuck your reputation. And you? That's the same person. And you? Fuck your reputation. By the way, do we have any... We should. Uh, imprisoned. Execute. 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 Fuck you all. Do we have any... Um... Not Proctids, I'm looking for Ptolemies. Which are the L Lagidae, I believe. Either way, it shouldn't matter. 46 tyranny is plenty. And there we go. Peace. No. <laughs> Cyprus, Cyprus ain't coming. Cyprus ain't coming. Where is Cyprus? So I can just remove it from this. There it is. How about this? No, that, that ain't coming either. That's South Phoenicia, I think. Yep. Ah, oh, where the fuck is South Phoenicia, you shite hole? There it is. Sorting by cost. The cheapest. Arabia Relicta. The cheapest I can take, then. Cara Literalis. I don't even know what Cara Literalis is. Cara Literalis. Oh, over there. 107. Yeah, too much. Um, then Samaria. Still too much. Yeah, nah, fuck it. That's the piece. That is the piece. And naturally, if I could, if I had enough time, I would, um, well, firstly, I'd colonize both of these, but I can't be asked doing that. Uh, naturally, I would continue attacking Egypt until we had the historic borders of the uh, Persian Empire, you know, going down here, going across here, but we simply don't have the time. Uh, so, yeah, that is your lot, I'm afraid. Um, I'll just let it run speed five, we've only got a year left. Uh, what a fun campaign. What a really, really fun campaign. So, like I said, we started as Itty Bitty Heraclea Pontica. We managed to somehow beat the Phrygians. I mean, they, they lost a couple of territories here, or a couple of provinces, and we managed to scoop them up. I don't know how they lost them, but they lost them. And that was a big boost. Paphlagonia was a uh, pretty easy war. I think we used Phrygia against him. Oh no, Paf oh, was it Paphlagonia we allied uh, for like the, almost the entire game. Um, they were a really good ally until they took too much land and we needed to kill them. While we were killing them, then we had the big Seleucid um, problem. And there's the <laughs> there's the end of the game. Then we had the big Seleucid problem. And after the Seleucids were dead, they broke into smithereens. We had to eat them individually. And then finally we just took on the little individuals and then Egypt. Pretty simple campaign, but yeah, I definitely recommend giving it a try because... I, I sure shit enjoyed myself. Yeah, observer mode. I wonder, I wonder, is this possible? Um, actually, can it, it's just the replay that's here. Yeah, there we go. Hey, the fucking replay. All right, we'll accelerate time. Oh, nice, you can get the replay up. And this is Iron Man game as well. I love it, fantastic. Alright, let's uh, accelerate time just a little bit more. Remember who we are. Heraclea Pontica. Well, it says we're the Achaemenid Empire, but we're Heraclea Pontica. We took out Bithynia first. 
Actually, that's a little bit too slow if I want to go through the entire game. There we go, that's probably better. So, Paphlagonia, we killed, it was Cappadocia that was my ally, of course. Yeah, so we took a big chunk there. At some point, Phrygia is going to lose a couple of provinces that we can snag. Uh, and the many times that we went to war with Seleucids in aid of Armenia, there we go, Sinop was the one. Like, this was really helpful for us. This really, really helped our empire, because we managed to get so many ducats down here, time after time after time, it was fantastic. Uh, there, these are my sieges, just taking the cities, taking just untold godly amounts of wealth. So, very, very happy with uh, with the multiple attacks that the Seleucids made on Armenia. Um, but we're in a little bit of a rut. We didn't know where to expand. We need to get to war with Pontus. We should see that happen soon, at least. I think so. Yep, there it is. The war with Pontus begins, and that should be a full annexation of Pontus. I believe Pontus were allied with Colchis. I don't quite recall. Yes, I believe they were. So we take a bunch of Pontus. Yeah, we. I think we attacked Colchis to get to war with Pontus. Um, so Colchis should all die now as well. Come on. Die. Die. Oh no, another siege against Seleucid, getting a ton of money uh, again. Uh, Armenia, I believe, is next. We break alliance with them and take up to here. And then multiple wars with the Seleucids. That's another war with the Seleucids first, though. Again, taking on ungodly amounts of wealth while we uh, while we siege down here. Phrygia explodes a little bit, so I managed to get a few uh, wars in against Phrygia, take a chunk of land. Um, he releases some people by accident. Cappadocia is the one that really gains in this, I believe. Um, but yeah, we here, this is us. We grow again. Fantastic, getting the entire coast of the, uh, of the straits. Really important straight crossings. Uh, taking out both of those little dudes. And this is Cappadocia, I believe. They're going to grow massively. Paphlagonia exists again. Uh, Seleucids grow. And Phrygia is done for. They just explode. And we need to uh, murder them. You know, one thing I did forget to do is continue <laughs> down my mission trees. At some point, I think I just forgot about it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Seleucids are attacking Armenia. That just happens so many times. Yeah, so many little fucking Phrygian explosions. It's quite disgusting. Uh, so yeah, Cappadocia expanding massively. At some point they abandon me, so I need to murder them. We're at war with Phrygia. Take out a bunch more. Ionia goes. Um, I think Cap Cappadocia is next, if I remember correctly. I'm not quite sure. I'm not at Macedon, tiny. This is us going to help Macedon. Uh, so Macedon should grow massively here as well. Uh, but we do get attacked by Cappadocia and the Seleucids while we're helping Macedon, so we need to rush back. Uh, we peace out with the Seleucids, and then we murder the shit out of Cappadocia. Fairly sure that's what happens. We don't manage to take all of it. Yeah, we just took a chunk. There's just a lot of aggressive expansion because we didn't have any claims. Or we didn't have enough claims. I should say. Uh, another war there. It looks like a, a Cappadocian and a Seleucid Empire war. The Seleucid Empire looked pretty insurmountable at this point because while I could get little victories here and there, there was no real push. I couldn't do real pushes into the heart of the Seleucid Empire. That definitely uh, came later. Cappadocia, once again, needs to be dealt with. Again, I don't think I'm able to uh, take the entirety of him. So... We should be seeing, yep, yeah, Cappadocia losing a bunch of land, but Seleucid Empire also take a big chunk, which again is just really annoying. We still have this big blob of, yeah, it just looks diseased really, doesn't it? Uh, so we should at some point start seeing a bunch of these start to disappear. But first it looks like another war against the Seleucids, where they do really well. I think this is when they attacked me. They do really well to start with, they got the war goal, but I pushed them back. Uh, they're also attacking the Cappadocians at the same time, and they'll take a big chunk out of Cappadocia, um, which is annoying. It's really annoying. Um, but that means we can take over the entirety of Cappadocia as well. Having such a big border with Seleucids was a nightmare. And I think I'm just going to take all of this now. 
in the war with Seleucids. They were the big power for a long, long time. Egypt really weren't. I mean, Nabatea own a coastline here that Egypt starts with. So they weren't doing well for a very long time. Legia being a really big, annoying little bastard. We're at war with him now and Comanginese. Uh, so should be able to take out Comanginese fairly easily. Um, I don't know who's sieging here. Maybe Albania? Doesn't look like him, though. No. Honestly, it looks like a Phrygian siege. I don't know who that is. Maybe Syria Coel? Maybe? I don't know. Um, what else we got? Yeah, some of these guys are disappearing now. That's good to see. Macedon expanding and another war against the Seleucids once again. Um, I'm not sure what I take here. Just a, a smudge. At some point, we're going to see the snake, because I realized I was running out of time. But first, uh, taking over the rest of the little dudes. There we go. Now it's just this little Macedonian wart on the bottom of my empire, which annoyed me for a long time. Another war against the Seleucids. Uh, what do I take this time? I don't recall. I think down here. Or at least getting a border with Adiaben was, was a plan that I had that worked out really well. Uh, going to war with the Seleucids, then attacking Adiaben, and immediately going to war with the Seleucids again was just phenomenal. Um, so we should see another war against the Seleucids immediately, because I used Adiaben, yep. Uh, and leaving Adiaben alive is just... You, you need to do it. Uh, a little bit of a snake, and then again we attack... I believe it was Tyrus. This was a bad idea. Um, and Maria really slowed us down by attacking at the same time. We managed to peace out and then attack them again, and Maria is still at war. So, yeah, this is when I believe I get the snake, because I'm really worried about running out of time for these achievements. And we're still Heraclea Persica at this point. Yeah, watch the snake appear. It's filthy, but it is... <laughs> it was necessary, let's say. Um, then the war against Maria taking... All this land, Seleucids explode, and this is when I know the game is won. We just need to attack all of the little dudes now. It's pretty much game set and match. That's another one gone, and we should have... I think it was Susian maybe next? Or another war against the Seleucids, I guess. They were still pretty formidable. They did take a long, long time to kill. Babylonia exists, uh, another war against the Seleucids again. Uh, and Egypt is, is really pushing north as well, which is quite irritating. Uh, Persepolis, Atropaten, Garamia, Susian. Another war against Maria first, actually, because I realized they still had a territory that I needed. So that's you dealt with. Uh, Susian, gone. Should see Garamea, gone. Atropaten, Charwen. No, Persepolis first. Charwen, eat. Comesen, we take that one. Now we should take these ones. There's the war, and... Disappeared. Seleucid Empire next, I believe. Bactria being a super annoying little shit. I just ended up not giving a shit about them, to be honest. Achaemenid Empire, looking real sexy now. We take over the rest of that. If I... I don't think... It took me ages to get the war score to take these two bits that I needed. We needed to go into Bactria. Um, and then colonizing, and we should see Babylon War. We're getting very, very close to the end of the game. Yep, Babylon Siege. And this is basically what happened this episode. This is this is the progress we made. It's fairly decent progress. I'm not I'm not unhappy with that. That's, that went fine. And then, yeah. And then that's the end of the game. Feeling quite melancholic about it, actually, because, I mean, it's a series over that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Thoroughly. Um... So yeah, if you guys want to see how you get this replay function up, it's uh, Control shift p to open up this menu. Yeah, you can also open up the debug mode from this way. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for uh, achievement runs because it does, I believe, remove achievements. Yeah, achievement locked. Uh, as soon as you open this or debug mode or any of these, uh, you do break achievement ready status but i mean we we finished the game so it doesn't affect the matter does it uh, so yeah that is my heraclea persica campaign i really do hope that you enjoyed it um i certainly did and uh yeah stick around on the channel subscribe if you haven't already uh to see what we come up with next thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye